What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here today. Mostly we'll be talking about Sydney Prescott, but I did want to start off by addressing Hayden Pantier and her recent comments she made about the future of Kirby Reed going forward in the Scream franchise. She had this to say about Kirby's future during an interview with Bleeding Cool. She said, who knows what the future will bring? Uh, I'm just excited that I got to play her again. This franchise likes to keep the fans guessing, so I suppose we'll have to see. Now, me personally, I will admit, I only waited 10 years plus for a one and done. I was not somebody who wanted to see Kirby Reed in multiple screen movies. I wanted to see Kirby Reed in another screen movie. And I got that here with Scream 6. So I'm I'm satisfied. I've had my Kirby fix. However, if she comes back, then she can come back. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's just that I'm saying me personally, I don't have a desire to really see Kirby Reed all that much anymore. Uh, love her to death want her to be happy want her to be safe but within context of how they wrote her you know if you're doing the fbi thing go do the fbi thing however if there is a a narrative written in scream 7 in which all the survivors are being targeted of course i'd expect kirby to be involved and i wouldn't be i wouldn't be mad about it i also think that that is the direction we're gonna go in i think kirby reed will honestly be back in scream 7 i'm just saying i'm not somebody who is gonna lose sleep if she isn't i do think she will be back though because i think hayden did an amazing job in scream 6 given the limited screen time that meeting people were freaking out about she did amazing every time she was on screen she felt very relevant to the story she they utilized her in a, as a red herring in such a tremendous way uh hayden's mannerisms again the way she kind of just jumped back into the role with this ease it was great it was just something wonderful to see after all these years she looked like she genuinely was having fun and i know she loves this character because i hear it when i see her interviews and it comes off in on screen when she's in the role she is such a good person to play kirby uh, i mean she is kirby but <laughs> going into james vanderbilt's comments here about nev campbell he had this to say when asked about sydney having any major arcs that were removed from scream 6 after nev's exit he said that this was always the story we, want, we wanted to tell which is really exciting we were able to do it the sam and tara sister story was always the thing we wanted to be front and center in this we love nev and think she's amazing and had a great experience with her on five she needs to do what she needs to do as a businesswoman, and we totally support that so again here's my thoughts this comes off again like they never had plans to include her as a big focus piece or at all because again remember the alleged rumor is that Sydney would have shown up to protect Sam and Tara since she views them as family now which is something I think is very tacky in a lot of ways to the point where okay it's like we're just tacking her on at this point you don't need to have her here let her have her peace some part of me really does genuinely believe they did not intend for Sydney to be in this movie they wanted her to be in Scream 7, but somebody somewhere higher up was pushing for her to be in Scream 6. And then that's where one of the earlier drafts were, were revisited, where Sydney would have shown up, done something like this, showing up to protect Sam and Tara. And it's like, okay, it seems a little out of character that you're going to now constantly keep doing this. Anytime Ghostface is back, here comes here comes Super Sydney or something like that. Like, come on now. This woman has been working for peace. Let her have her peace. Let her be with her husband and her kids. That's why the way they explained her absence in six, it was very much so respectable, a respectful way to handle her character. And it's in line with what she's been trying to have since we met her. And that's peace. So I really appreciate how they handled her absence in Scream 6. I thought it, I thought her absence would have been much better then i think her absence is much better than anything we could have seen with her in the movie i'm just being honest not to say that she wouldn't have done a fantastic job because i think nev campbell is a wonderful actress but writing sydney like this over and over again like no dewey is a special case where you do that dewey is a special case but showing up just because ghostface is back no I get that you might care for Sam and Tara, but I don't see you doing it to the point where you're going to now sacrifice everything you work so hard for, which again is peace. You want peace. <laughs> so just to jump into what Matt Benelli Open said that also was very interesting. This was with an interview in Collider. He said, we found out early on in production that Nev wasn't going to do this one and there had been drafts and ideas and stuff going around. But the thing that Guy and Jamie did that was so great and really helped us is that they had created the structure of the movie that I don't think ever really changed much. Stuff like the motives, that shifted, but the movie from kind of a bird's eye view didn't change that much. So what does that mean? The motive shifted. Well, keep in mind, James has already made it clear that 
Sam and Tara were always going to be at the center of this. This is a story they always wanted to tell. So that eliminates to me the option of this motive was going to be all about Sydney or the motive was going to have anything major to do with Sydney. I think that what shifted ties into our characters of Quinn and Ethan, who we know are two of the three killers we get that are Richie's family in Scream 6. What if these two were stab fans just as much as Richie was, maybe not to the same degree, and they were in disagreement with Richie, of course, after they found out what he had done and now that he's dead, they were in disagreement with the fact that Richie thought Sam would be a perfect person to carry on the legacy of this franchise in a new sequel. They do not like that. Also, of course, they definitely don't like it now because you killed their brother. So they're in disagreement there. They could be Sydney fanatics. They could be Sydney fanatics because there could have been an angle in this movie where maybe they mentioned during their monologuing that Detective Bailey actually wanted to go after Sydney because he does mention anybody who has anything to do with the death of my son is going to die or he's going to go after them or something like that. So then that begs the question to me, of course, well, why didn't you go after Sydney? Maybe Ethan and Quinn talked him out of it because they are Sydney fanatics and they don't want anything to happen to her. They think that Sam is not deserving of the Sydney role. They do not see her as the next best final girl. That would also be another clever meta way to acknowledge, of course, the nasty backlash that Melissa has gotten. Uh, and I think that's generally how it could have shifted. These two could have been obsessed stab fanatics that worship Sidney Prescott and talk their father out of going after her because he probably wanted to go after her because she indeed did play a factor in, do, in Richie's demise but because they talked her out of it or talked him out of it he did not do that I could see something like that being how this shifted I just don't think the shift that is referenced here is anything major it was always going to be about getting revenge on Sam for killing Richie that's always what this was going to be. I struggle to find how any of this, how any of the rest of the movie after watching it so many times was going to loop its way to being something major about Sydney. I mean, come on now. Why would you set the story on Sam and Tara and they're the focus of this? They're getting all these calls from Ghostface. Sydney shows up for five minutes and the motive is all about Sydney. I mean, that's that's not that's not acceptable. <laughs> That comes off like a waste of what you've been doing for the last hour and a half now to make it about this person who's shown up for the last five minutes. Come on now. I don't think that's what was happening. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. You can never miss a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.